Everyone the C in C class is stupid. Everyone in C class is stupid, especially Lillian. No. Hanging on pace, running the race. Life is a chase. I don't want to place. I want to be first. Work till it hurts. Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse. Oh. Uh, C class makes me mad. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Ain't gone from a break, gone from the weak. My sick is stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No more. I'm not gonna force him or push him when I don't know what he's experiencing. Bro, you see me eating over there? Yeah, my money, Tonka. Kill kid, I'm I had an arm pump. The second I picked my bike up, I had arm pump, and I only did like three laps. I get it up the hill because I'm squeezing so hard. Super Mini Moto 2 lining up for Luke. If you uh, didn't watch the first motos, you can go back and do that. But Moto 1s did not go as great as possible. I mean, like, I think the kids were riding good. But as far as results go on paper, I think they probably would have wanted better finishes. The track's drying out. It's a little dusty. So it could get interesting. But hopefully they do better than last time. You do? Thanks, dude. I like them. Oh, thanks, man. What's your name? Hickson? Yeah, good to meet you, dog. What insides are bad? I have no idea. I like took all the outsides pretty much. Just like that, Lou scores his best start of the day. Let's see how he handles this dry, rough track now. Uh, top four are already at the top of the hill. They're already way up there. So those kids are our next level and uh, Luke is uh, Ahead of all the kids that beat him in the last moto. So I'm, I'm stoked right now Like you must 
must have found some smooth lines over there because he didn't like struggle at all. Yeah, I am pumped on that one, guys. That could be the, the best that I've ever seen Luke ride. A little recap. Okay, so Moto 1, he was in ninth, pushing, trying to catch up to the three kids that were right in front of him. Uh, pushed too hard, ended up going down, wasn't able to close back up, finished ninth. Just now, the three kids that he was trying to catch, he gapped them. Like, he was he was pretty solid out there. And if you asked me before, I, I probably would have thought for sure, like, his first moto today would have been the best, because before, he, like, he's not the best at rust, like, I'll admit. But I figured he'd struggle as the day went on. But he, he would rode better than in moto number one. Great ride, Luke. That was awesome. That was a great start, great ride. Dude. Great work, great when effort, I was about great to start, job. My foot pig fell down, so I'm like uneven. And I was like, oh crap, dude, my start's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. And I was like top four. Yeah, yeah, you were like fourth off the start. I guess you need to do that to your foot peg every time then. Lillian, 250B, moto number two, uh, second to last in the first moto, means second to last skate pick in the second moto. So she is all the way over here on the outside. She's gonna make the long way around to mid pack. stronger desire to prove themselves than anyone else in the sport. 125 on the outside.
Glaze, okay. guys the dirt uh, the dirt is challenging uh, the layout of the track is great the, the parking it's super convenient like all the parkings in one spot so you don't have to hike forever oh and then and you can see the whole track from from going up on top of the hill so this track is rad we like it a lot okay so we got Lillian trying out 250 B uh, she went 34 and 20 second that is a big jump going from 34th to 20 second I guess she did have a fall too you know that shows what she can do with a good start Imagine if she got a good start in the first moto. She'd be right there knocking at the door of a 20th overall. She got 29th overall, yeah. So definitely some room for improvement. And yeah, 250B is uh, no joke, especially when she's on a 125. We might be tempted <laughs> to try to get her a 250 just to help buy her some starts. That start, dude, I couldn't see anything. And then we all, like... Four of us went off the track. I couldn't see anything. It was just a we went off hole. the track because you couldn't see where the track was because they haven't watered it at all. Oh, uh, Luke won out of a position for a trophy. Dude, Luke, I don't want to brag, but of all the non trophy receivers, he was the fastest. Bro, why are you recording this? Luke, what are you thinking? Yeah, dude. Little child, tell me. Okay, I meant about yeah, how are you feeling? Do you want to do your last yeah. moto? Or? Yeah. It's the same one as the person I bought my bike skip it? Yeah. Kid first is doing great, everyone else can't see nothing. One of these days, Luke is gonna clean his helmet, I promise. Um, so Luke has a headache, it happens sometimes when he rides. He took some medicine, then we waited like 20 minutes to see how it feels, and he says it still hurts. So I don't know what he's feeling, obviously, so I'm not gonna force him or push him to ride when I don't know what he's experiencing with his headache. And as far as I'm concerned, like, we came here to learn and progress and get better, and I feel like he's done that today, and I feel like sending him out on the track when he isn't 100% and maybe not be able to concentrate. It's just not worth the risk. I feel like he's he's progressed and, and um, he did what he came here to do. So uh, we're not worried about his position. We're not worried about a championship. We're not worried about trophies or anything. So, you know, he's gonna sit out the last moto and uh, Lillian will bring us home with the last moto of the day. Women's class, last moto of the day. Isla, all the way on the inside.
Yeah, that might have been smart. Like maybe she can uh, avoid all of the dust from the bikes on the inside, depending upon which way the wind's blowing. See the results? No, I think not. Do you want me to tell you or you want to be surprised? Do you want to be surprised? Here, I'll let you be surprised. All right, phone died, pulling out the camera. I missed the special moment. Lillian, congratulations, your first ever trophy on a 125. Oh, you missed. How's that headache, Luke? Better? Yeah, that helps when the sun goes down. Dude, look at that. Even with the grainy image on this crappy iPhone, it's still amazing. Look at that. First ever 125 trophy. All right, let's go ahead and close out this vlog. I'm I'm pumped, guys. It feels good to be doing a race vlog again. Thumbnail right here. <laughs> feels good that the kids are having a good time, that they're riding so well. Lillian, first ever uh, big bike trophy. First of many. What? Trying to close out the vlog. What? Anything you want to say? Uh, the C class makes me mad. Thanks, Edge Power Sports. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Edge Power Sports. Thanks, me. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, thank you to Josh and the whole Phillips family. If you guys aren't following Isla on Instagram, you really should because, dude, she spanked my kids today, for one. Uh, two, like, her writing is incredible. Her content on Instagram is amazing. Three, they're a big help. Josh is always there on the starting gate to help out with the kids, even when Isla's not racing. He'll help out with, uh, you know, starting blocks or water for the kids. He's basically like, like the moto mom. Um, Josh is a big help. And, dude, they're saving us, like, thousands of dollars worth of uh hotel bills <laughs> when we we come down stay with them and uh it saves us big time they even uh had us over for thanksgiving so uh that saved us because we probably would have been you know going to taco bell or something on thanksgiving so thank you very much to uh isla follow her on instagram aiden do you have an instagram no i would not okay don't worry about aiden then aiden doesn't matter <laughs>